What up, folks? I am UltraZilla, and this is the Ultra Z News Week and Update. Boy, do we have a lot to talk about. Big, chunky week full of interesting news, and uh, let's just get right into it, because we're going to start out with something that I talked about at the very end of last year, a breaking news on New Year's Eve, and that was the Haya Toys Godzilla vs. Kong statues. At the time of that recording, all they said was these pieces were going to be coming out uh, in China, uh, but not sure yet here in the States. Well, this week, the pre-orders went up. They are going to be available here in the States, and that is awesome. You could get them at BBTS right now if you want for pre-order, uh, and they're only going to cost you about 50 bucks each. That is awesome considering they're going to be like nine inches tall. That is awesome. Once again, here's Godzilla, here's Kong, and uh, yeah, I mean, you guys have seen me um, review plenty of Haya Toys stuff in the past year and a half, and uh, the quality is very good. You know, the the sculpt work is awesome, as you can see here for these two. Looks really good. So I'm expecting really great things from this line. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say go for it. The price is definitely right for what you're getting. And I saw this this morning. Um, now, I couldn't find this on their social media, so I'm not 100% sure of the origin of this image. Um, but I did see it around this morning. Uh, and it appears that there might be a Mecha Godzilla coming as well from this line, which would be awesome. So fingers crossed that this is uh, official. And, uh, you know, this is a tease for a forthcoming Mecha Godzilla from Haya as well. So that should be awesome. Another thing this week that dropped is the Art Spirits GVK figures. Uh, these are the small uh, Gizeko, Giz Gizeko, something like that. <laughs> Jezeko, uh, Geico uh, figures. It's something with a G. Uh, the, the small figures that they do that we've reviewed here before. We've reviewed the Gamras, the uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters, uh, Singular Point is coming out soon. And now they're doing a four pack here with Kong, Godzilla, Skullcrawler, and Mecha Godzilla. Uh, apparently uh, there was supposed to be, uh, Warbat and the Hellhawk in, in part, as part of this, but that kind of fell through, uh, it seems like. And now we're getting these four figures from Art Spirits. This news dropped, like, right at the same time, basically, as that Rodan SH Monsters breaking news, but... Uh, I concentrated my efforts on uh, that one uh, and uh, for the week. So this news has been out a couple of days. Could have been a breaking news, but, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know if it was a breaking news type of deal, but it's awesome. And it's interesting, you know, they got a Jumping Kong here as well as, uh, you know, the uh, Haya Toys. So it's a good pose. I think this Art Spirits Kong here looks fantastic. It seems like Art Spirits has their pulse on what Kong really is supposed to look like. And we're gonna be uh we're gonna be investigating that ourselves very, very soon here on the channel. So do stay tuned. Uh, but these look great. These small figures have been awesome. I'm definitely gonna get them. You know, uh, I think they're gonna be about 80 bucks for this set of four. And I can tell you I already I think they're gonna probably be worth getting. Something that is going to be worth getting as well is the X Plus GVK D4 Real. More so than their uh, Daikaiju series bigger normal figure, I think this Kong looks way better uh, than that. It looks really, really good in my opinion. And is the Rick version, if you want it, it's going to have a light up axe. I do not want the Rick. You guys have heard me talk about how I don't really care for the X plus Ricks. And you're going to hear me talking about it again this week, uh, Monday, I, I believe uh, during my D for real gamma review. So do stay tuned for that gamma three. Um, but this looks great. Looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to 
the Godzilla DST Godzilla 62 bust. This is awesome. This uh, was dropped this week for pre-orders. You can pre-order at your favorite shops. It's up at BBTS, but you can get it from our pals at Kaiju Live as well. This is a uh, very, very cool. Their first statue, the 64, was awesome. It was so, so good. Um, I think the best Godzilla item that DST has done, and this looks like it's going to be, you know, that same quality. And I love uh, that the base is an iceberg. That is perfect. Nice attention to detail by DST there. So very, very cool. Definitely looking forward to this. You know it. I will be reviewing this when the time comes. And I can tell you guys, uh, there's going to be more in this bus series from DST. So do stay tuned. A little teaser for you guys because there's going to be more. But this looks great. Godzilla 62 coming soon and up for pre-order right now. Also up for pre-order right now, as of this morning, uh, and you can check out my link for these at, you know, the HLJ link down below. Help support the channel by uh, just clicking that link and then, you know, pre-ordering stuff right from that is the second series of UDF figures uh, from Metacom in collaboration with CCP. These are CCP designed but put out by metacom's udf series now these were the like five inch figures that i reviewed here and these look awesome look at this that those those were great that first series was awesome with the angels and eva and you get an, another eva like with a heavy gun uh and then uh unit zero right uh with a shield that looks amazing and then uh this angel here crucified looking crazy these are from the new movie and uh wow the details on this is fantastic so these are up for pre-order right now they run you just about 20 bucks each uh well worth it for the level of sculpt and paint you get for these little figures uh just like nice figurines for your shelf if you got the first series man you, you know that these are well worth it. If not, please check out my review of these uh, because they were quite cool, in my opinion, the first series. So definitely going to get these second series as well. All right, let's move on to Ultraman. And uh, this is very, very interesting. I had not seen this prior. Um, uh, that ultra, The Ultra Arts line from SH Figure Arts had been numbering their figures. I don't remember them doing that. But number 98 is a uh, Trigger Sky Type. And this is a web shop exclusive. Up for pre-order. Looks pretty cool. A bunch of uh, effect parts and stuff. I will not be getting the uh, this one. Um, I'm kind of like... As far as uh, web shop exclusives go with Ultra... Axed, not ultra act ultra arts stuff or actually ultra video art stuff um I, I i've been not getting everything and that's been from the beginning um so it's one of those things where i just i don't know man i don't i don't need the entire line um and sky type i don't know i i, I, I got the uh the ultra action figure i'm good i'm good on that one uh but it does look fine totally fine number 99 is Carmira or Carmilla from uh, Trigger as well. Looking pretty cool. I like how this figure looks. Uh, I did not gather whether this was a web shop uh, or general release. I would like this one. I think it looks really, really nice. So uh, I'll have to look into that further myself. But um, I think it does look really, really cool. And then uh, this is a little bit of a spoiler coming out for number 100 because this was a magazine scan. Uh, it's going to be a uh, another Seho figure, which is, you know, the Tigo was in that line. So I don't know how much is going to be rubbery. You can tell that there are parts, but it is the original Ultraman type uh, C, I believe. Uh, and uh, looking cool. Looking cool. So, I mean, number 100 should be Ultraman. I can't wait to see the actual, like, official pics of this. Probably will be up next weekend because there's an Ultraman Connection special 
uh, which will be free, actually, this one uh, on YouTube. Uh, so do stay tuned for that. This is all we got to go on right now, magazine scans. Uh, but looking cool. Definitely will get this one. Uh, so that is awesome. All right, let's move back to Hiya Toys because uh, there's a RoboCop news. RoboCop 3, a two-pack, a PX Previews two-pack versus Otomo. Uh, and it looks very, very cool. Uh, Otomo is uh, pretty tall. So uh, very interesting. Oh. We'll stick to that for a second. Pretty interesting. Uh, you can pre-order this right now at BBTS. Uh, and uh, this you can as well, but I would suggest getting this from HLJ. Link down below. It is the Mofex Terminator. That's right. Look at that. That's a really cool head sculpt there. That looks pretty uh, like a pretty good Arnold in my opinion. So this went up for pre-order uh, this morning at 80 bucks. Uh, and hey, there's also a Nightwing. Uh, he's behind them. There's a Nightwing. If you care for Nightwing, I didn't uh, really post up about Nightwing. Just not caring for the superhero stuff from Offex. Uh, but this Terminator looks fantastic. Like really good in my opinion. That's that's awesome. Um, and you get a lot of uh, weapons and stuff. So do dig that there's some uh your five separate guns that you get with him and you get three different head sculpts pretty pretty neat uh and to finish off this little trilogy of robocop and terminator uh we got some aliens news and this is the good smile company motoroid model kit of the power loader with ripley how about that that's pretty neat not bad in a 112 scale so it's going to be a nice, chunky power loader with Ripley. Uh, I do dig that. You know, the Ripley is okay, a little bit cartoonish, but I think overall that power loader looks really good. But, of course, it is a model kit, so, you know. But you can order it. Again, link down below to HLJ. Get yours. Now, this I am super excited about. Uh, speaking of model kits, this is the Flame Toys Leo Prime. And this is a nice, awesome spin on Leo Prime. Uh, this is not transformable. This is a model kit action figure. And I'm really glad this is in, in the Fury model line instead of the action figure line. Because as much as I wanted to continue getting the action line uh, after that first like IDW uh, Prime, the Optimus Primal that came out last year was like 200 bucks. So, I mean, that's a massive jump than the 65 the other one was. So I'm glad, uh, you know, they went with a model kit route for this. I'm sure there's going to be a more uh, high-end one of this as well at some point. But I think I'm going to get this model kit because as much as I have too many model kits to do and no time to do them, I really do like this design. And already this model kit is like going to be like 75 80 bucks. So, ouch, yeah. But it looks gorgeous. It absolutely looks gorgeous. So totally into it for sure. Yeah, this is, this is great. This is like one of the more exciting Transformers news for me personally. Uh, because I got to say, like all the stuff that's been revealed so far for Legacy, the new line from Transformers, main, the new main line, I haven't been digging. Uh, you know, I had a... Like a couple of them on pre-order, but I cancel them after like looking at them more. I'm just not into them. Um, so this is great and fantastic for sure. So thank you, Flame Toys, for doing something that I'm very much into right now. But I gotta say, there is a tiny car class legacy figure that they did reveal, and that's Iguanus, uh, which was a pretender back in the day um looking pretty cool and what they did is like combine the pretender shell with the robot uh, alt mode uh for a core class figure i'm gonna want this i think it looks really really neat uh i do like it so there you go there's one legacy thing to look forward to for me but i'm kind of glad because just as you can see guys there is so much stuff coming out so yeah there you go there it is in the box uh speaking of cool things that are coming out the Raphael is out right now, Frankie, or is it Donatello, whoever it is. Uh, but Leonardo is the Hunchback 
from Notre Dame, uh, from NECA in the Turtles X Universal Monsters line. Uh, and while, you know, the, I think, you know, uh, Leo's been done a little dirty here as a hunchback. It looks amazing. I gotta say, it looks amazing. Uh, James Groman uh, worked on these as well. So, you know, the quality is high as far as design and uh, it does look incredible and you look at all the stuff you get for this so yeah originally i was just like hunchback really but man look at that that is that is awesome uh sticking with this kind of like horror theme and but moving on to mcfarland toys and their dc multiverse line there's gonna be a titan size joker that's right this is actually the joker who took a new serum that turned him giant and uh monstrous like he you can see his his spine is now like a dorsal fin and it looks insane uh i'm debating getting this i'm not 100 percent sure if i will you guys let me know if you want to see me review this at some point but this is definitely a attack on titan kaiju inspired joker so let me know Something I might want to cover from the channel because, you know, I like to do uh, that type of stuff. But you guys let me know what your interest level is in this Joker. I have not pre-ordered it. I don't know if I will. But I could be convinced. So there you go. Looking pretty awesome. Okay. So this was uh, an interesting news bit this week. And that is Mattel is doing a new collector's line to replace the Amber Collection. And that is the Hammond collection, which will be Target exclusive. Now, the first two pieces in the line uh, are up for pre-orders. But here are the first four pieces we're going to see. Uh, we got a Raptor and uh, we uh, got a Jeff Goldblum, a Malcolm there. Uh, and uh, a Baryonyx, as well as a Para, whatever they're called, Paralaphalus. <laughs> probably even totally butchered that but it looks beautiful it does the only thing is these are in the 118th scale so much smaller than the amber collection and i guess the problem with the amber collection was six inch figures they can't possibly do you know every dino and not you know size it's just it's gonna be too big so I guess they, they rethought it. They put a kibosh on the line. And they were like, well, let's just do one 18 scale. These look nice. But I got to say, there's a little bit less articulation than the Amber Collection. Uh, and I don't think I'm in on the line, honestly. If I see it in person and I like how it looks, uh, I might get, you know, try one out. Because I like trying lines out. You guys know that. But. Uh, not a hundred percent into it, uh, the scale, but you know what? The scale is pretty much what the regular main line. I think this is part of it too. The main line scale is of, uh, Mattel. So it's going to be in line with that. So I guess that's the thought process there. This one does look pretty cool. I don't think they look as good as the Amber collection though, in my opinion. So Last thing, uh, a fun thing that I discovered today, and that is a company called, uh, as an indie toy company uh, doing vinyl figures called uh, Spumoni Toy Company. And uh, this is their first, well, it's not their first piece, I'm sorry, but it is their current Kickstarter, Star Braver. And this is a super robot inspired piece 13 inches tall this is on kickstarter right now and there's a lot of different like levels there you're gonna have to check it out but the company is called spumoni toys company you can check them out on facebook or instagram and this is the star braver soft vinyl toy now they got me with that name spumoni i am uh from brooklyn and uh we are famous for spumoni so they got me with that name, but then this figure, you guys know I love Super Robots uh, and Mecha, and uh, this looks gorgeous. I really like how it looks. There's a nice drawing 
for Star Braver. And there you go. Something fun to end off here. Again, if you're interested in this, please check out their Kickstarter. Because I, I will uh, I will post that link down below, actually, in the description for the Kickstarter. So you could get uh, check out all the tiers and stuff and see if this is something you'd want to uh, get. But this kind of really reminds me of the Brave series from the 90s. Uh, from who was it? Sunrise and did the Brave series, but yeah, along those lines, and I like that a lot. And there you go, guys. That is the Ultra Z news. A lot of news this week. Uh, that's very, very cool. And uh, you know, once again, make sure you go get these uh, GVK Hyatt Toys figures. You can you order them at bbts right now put your pre-order in because i think they're going to be really really awesome if you've watched any of my aliens predator robocop injustice reviews um they're really good quality they you know the sculpts and paint work are really good so them doing godzilla yes they're statues but nine inches tall for 50 bucks it's good guys that's really good and there you go that is the news Thanks for watching. Till next time. Peace out.